Hey, welcome to episode 160 of the Content Creation Made Easy podcast. I am your host, Jen Liddy. And today I want to talk about how two seemingly opposite ideas actually work together to make your content easier, more sustainable, more pleasurable for you. So let's just dive in. I'm going to ask you to think about two words, transparency and boundaries. Now, if you think of transparency, obviously transparency means you can see through something. Does it make you think of being clear, of being open? I mean, transparency is all about being able to see through. So I'm just wondering when I say transparency, And then I say boundaries. Does that feel like an opposite idea? Does that feel like something that you're just like, these two things don't go together? Because boundaries, you might feel like I'm closed down. I'm putting up a wall. People aren't able to get through. Well, today I want to talk about how we need both transparency and boundaries in our marketing content, both for us and for our audience and how it actually makes everything easier for you. So let's get started. I'm going to take you back to January 2000 when I was standing in front of a classroom filled with ninth graders. This was actually my first day ever teaching and I was up there and my leg was bleeding. And Molly, my, one of my sweet, she became, she came to be such one of my sweet favorite uh, students. She like Tim, this was my first time in front of them. These kids didn't know me. There's 27 ninth graders in the class and Molly like raises her hand timidly and says, um, Miss Grim, you're like bleeding. And having this as my first day ever of teaching in my own classroom, I'm standing in front of these 14 year olds and I'm bleeding through my white pantyhose. Now you might be wondering why am I wearing white pantyhose? Was it the eighties? No, it was January, 2000, but, uh, I was really trying to be professional that day. And I guess I had like shaved my legs and I had nicked myself and I had no idea that I was standing up there bleeding in front of 14 year olds. Now, in case you have forgotten or you haven't been around 14 year olds for a long time, uh, 14 year olds literally can smell your unspoken fears. And with one absolutely casually ruthless offhand comment, they will gut you for the rest of the school year. So this is why what happened next is such a surprise to me. I was standing up there, Molly raised her hand. She says, Miss Grimm, you're bleeding. And I don't like flap around. I don't panic. I just laugh. And I said, well, this is embarrassing. And I gave, I told the kids what happened and I asked about the closest bathroom and they, uh, they sent me on my way. And I said, I'll be back in just a minute. And when I came back, we all laughed together and we were laughing really hard. I remember. And so something unexpected had happened in that moment, right? It happened and it sealed the deal for the rest of our relationship that year. We fell in like with each other. And here's why. It turns out that the girls actually respected me for talking about this woman thing that happens to them all the time that like no grown-ups ever really talk about in public. And the boys, of course, were simply fascinated because I was talking about something that they had no experience with. Later, these ninth graders would tell me they felt like um, regular people in our classroom because I acted like a real person and I treated them like real people. But I want, I want to give, like, don't think everybody liked me in the classroom. It wasn't, I, I was strict and my, my students used to complain all the time that I gave too much homework and I, they would bitch because I rarely gave any extensions on deadlines, but I used both transparency and boundaries as my go-to tool to earn my students respect and to get them to connect with me every single year that I taught. So I had this way of being like, here's what's going on. And also these are the expectations I have of you. So having transparency and boundaries with your marketing and in your business in general is really important for you. So why am I telling you this? Well, let's talk about transparency first. Now, it is not necessary for you to bleed all over the internet in order to connect with your audience. Your audience, they need to know stuff about you, right? But but you don't always need to have some epic story or some rags to riches story, or I used to be a drug addict and now I'm a, a counselor. Like they don't, it, if you don't have these kind of stories, you don't need to have them. You don't need to have like also your bleeding wounds all over to bind you to them. You don't need to tell them what's going on in your life, especially when you are going through something. You want to wait until usually like you, you, can, you have a handle on it before you start talking about it. But your audience doesn't need all of you 
to fall in like with you, but they do need to you to be transparent, transparently you. And that is something that a lot of people don't know how to do. Have you found your voice yet in your content? Your transparent voice, the voice that just feels like you, not your way voice is going up really high and you're in a different register, but where you're using the words and you're in the register that feels like you. And if, do you know how to do that? That's my question to you today. In order to be transparently you, you need to get there with your voice. Now, most people haven't done this. They think they either need to be super professional. I'm going to put air quotes around super professional, like the internet famous gurus. They need to be polished and again, professional. And I'm going to ask, what does professional even mean anymore? We on the daily are redefining what professional means. And this is really a place where you can step in and decide how you want to show up in your content. So when you think of transparency in your content, please don't think of the gut-wrenching, deep, wounded conversations that you have during the dark times, you know, with your partner or your best friend or your spouse, or even your siblings or your parents, like that's not what transparency means. I want you to think about what you need to say to your audience in your content in your way. What are the words you would like to use? What are the phrases you would like to say? How can you talk in a way that feels like you no matter what platform you're on? So transparency, to wrap this section up, does not mean bleeding all over the internet and letting your audience into every part of you. It just means telling the truth about you and your beliefs in your you-isms, with your you-isms. That's what I want you to think about. Okay. Let's move on to boundaries because boundaries can sound like the opposite of transparency, but they actually really do go hand in hand. They help your audience respect you and trust you. Boundaries in your content is a hard yes. Now, I know that it feels like every creator invites you into their bathroom and into their doctor's office and into their bedroom and into their kitchen and into their like garbage can, right? Like you have seen this being modeled for you, but somehow you feel like this isn't right for me. I don't want this. This If I have to give up all of my privacy, I'm not going to do content. And so I want to just be clear Having somebody like come into the doctor's office with you might not be your brand. You don't have to do that. That does not have to be transparency because that frankly feels downright scary to us regular humans who don't want to have our audience following us around everywhere and they don't want to include their audience in everything. You want to have a life, right? And you are welcome to that. Your privacy matters. When you create content pillars that you know, like these are the things I talk about, these are the point of views that I come from, then you never have to wonder, is this on brand for me to talk about? So step into your content pillars. Have you done them yet? Do you know what they are? Do you know what the topics are? Do you know what the the brand um, foundations of who you are in your content? Have you done that yet? Do you know what your audience needs to hear? And have you decided what's none of their business? Those are important things to consider. Do you have a line in the sand that feels right for you of what you will talk about and what you won't talk about? That is vital. So your audiences need to know some of who you are, but they don't get to have a front row of everything unless that's your personality and that's your brand and that's what you want to do. And that's totally fine. But don't think that boundaries and transparency are opposite. You need both because if you believe that you have to be fully exposed in order to be liked, that's incredibly harmful for you. Privacy matters, boundaries are important. So yes, creating content is part of your business landscape. It's non-negotiable at this point. It doesn't matter how you're creating content or where you're creating content. When you go all in and you want to grow your business, you need to do content marketing, but it needs to be aligned with who you are. And I say this all the time. Now, if you're trying to be everywhere all the time, speaking to everybody, you're, you're going to feel like you want to burn out and not be present. And if you feel like you have to be like, if transparency means no boundaries, that's another reason you're probably hiding from your content. So you want to create content in a way that feels transparent enough to garner trust with your audience and boundaried enough that you don't feel trampled by it. So that's, I want to say that again, create content in a way that feels transparent enough to garner your audience's trust, but boundaried enough that you don't feel flattened by it. Now, this work is complicated and you might feel lost by it. I'll tell you, like this week, I went on to do some research about content. Every article I read about content was so 
technical, overwhelming, confusing, and frankly, like really it overloaded me and I'd have to click off. And I do this for a living. So I can imagine how somebody who doesn't like live in the content world must feel. And that's why I've opened up my small group coaching program. It's called the Content Creators Mastermind. I only take four people in it and I've got one spot filled. We start in May. And if you are somebody who really wants to get a high touch experience with your content. You want my eyes on your stuff. You want to really figure this stuff out and you want to get like a big thing done in your business in terms of your content. This small group coaching program can really help you. You'll learn what to say with boundaries and transparency. You'll know exactly who to talk to. So you're not trying to talk to everybody all the time and you feel wiped out. And we're going to talk about how to do it without the swirl and the chaos and the overwhelm. So I will be happy to share with you how to get there. Go to my homepage at jenliddy.com and you will find a link to the Google page where it's just a simple Google Doc. I didn't even do a big old sales page. But in three months later from now, we can cross one big thing off your list with the support and feedback uh, that you get from a high touch coaching program. So the bottom line, whether you decide to join a program or you just decide to keep doing content on your own is to remember that you get to be you in your content, no matter what that means. And you always get to write the rules for yourself. Yeah, you need to be consistent. Yeah, you need to show up. Yeah, you need to talk to your audience, but you get to do it in a way that works for you. So get the boundaries in place that will make you feel good because tra transparency and boundaries live together nicely. And when you make that a priority in your marketing, you not only breathe easier, but you stop feeling like you have to hide from your audience and the marketing because it's just so confusing and you connect with them more effectively. I hope this was helpful for you today. If you are looking to learn more about my program, go to jenliddy.com. It'll be right there for you on the website. And I am so glad that you're here each week. I do appreciate your time because I know how many podcasts there are out there. And if, if content is important to you, it's, you know, it's important to me. So I'm really glad you're here. Bye.